after Labor Day, many of us begin to think fall. But fall or fail, it's all the same with Joe Biden. Let's get caught up with the falls and fails you missed over the holiday weekend. Well, with Labor Day now behind us, many have transitioned to fall mentality. And that includes the President of the United States. President Biden trips, not once, not twice, but three times as he tries to climb the stairs to Air Force One today. Sorry, wrong kind of fall. As you've probably seen, Joe Biden has been fall failing all over the place this entire presidency. I've been sharing with you all of that insanity, and I wish I could say we've reached the end. But wait, there's more. And this is the latest and greatest. You know, the looks like a tornado, they don't call them that anymore, that hit the crops and, and wetlands in the middle of the country. And, in Iowa, in Nevada, and I mean, it's just across the board. And, uh, you know, um, uh, as I said, we're in this together. Feel free to fact check that entire nonsense. I think a tornado has wrecked his brain. And that is said by me, someone in the middle of the country, who lives near crops, not the wetlands, of Nevada, a state which is not in the middle of the country, where we actually have tornadoes, and still call them tornadoes because swirly clouds is too sissy but we're in this together. That's why on his way out the door to get on Marine One to fly to New Jersey, Biden asked the tough question on our behalf. <laughs> Mr. President, I got a question. Yep. Is the sun gonna come out tomorrow? Yep. That, that's presidential leadership right there. Much like the leadership shown in the show West Wing, where Martin Sheen played President Josiah Bartlett. In the show, Bartlett had a famous line that he said over and over, what's next? That line implied the president wanted to keep moving ahead and doing his job. In the reality TV world we live in, we have a president who also has a line. Come on, man. Come on. Or maybe it's not so much a line which involves vocal language. Keep on walking. That's right, because Joe Biden doesn't care to do his job. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. He's just a wanderer. Yeah, a wanderer. He roams around, 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 around. Before we move on with Joe, please share this video to show that you care. And then answer today's burning question. Which song do you think best describes Joe Biden's presidency. Let me know in the comments below because as you may have picked up on from my various references all these years, I'm a bit of a music junkie. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to The Healthy Republic on YouTube, I would be grateful for that too. Back to one more pop culture reference. There is another West Wing Jed Bartlett line that most adequately describes how much of a mess we are in and how our republic is falling in more ways than one. That decisions are made by those who show up. Well, Joe Biden hasn't shown up in months, if not years. The version of Biden that we have just falls and fails a lot, especially in Afghanistan, with the latest development over the holiday weekend being even more devastating. Just when you thought the recklessness of Biden's actions that got 13 service members killed was bad. But wait, there's more. All of us sentient beings knew that Biden lied in his promise to get all of the Americans out. And, as George Stephanopoulos said, we knew the Taliban would be the terrorists they can be. And so it's no surprise that planes full of U.S. citizens and green card holders are not allowed to leave Afghanistan because they must wait if and when the Taliban agrees to take off. As a senior congressional source said it, the Taliban is basically holding them hostage to get more out of the Americans. What was that bold statement you made, Joe? America is back. America is back. Diplomacy is back at the center of our foreign policy. He had to say it twice to make himself believe it. Diplomacy in foreign relations. How well that one aged, as bad as Joe did. Fear not, Biden has another slogan to appear like he cares, this time for the domestic side of things. My Build Back Better agenda. Build Back Better. So how is the economy? How's job growth? Oh. Jobs report disappoints. Only 235,000 positions added versus expectations of 720,000. But 
but but Biden bloviated build back better. How do we not have jobs for these people? Oh, why America has 8.4 million unemployed when there are 10 million job openings. Riddle me that. But you see, the reason is there's a thing out there. It's that thing you can't talk about or you'll be banned. It's that thing's fault. You know, it starts with a C and ends with an Ovid. Just blame that thing for everything. It has nothing to do with the fact that for months and months, exorbitant unemployment benefits have been handed out like ice cream cones on a hot summer day. My name is Joe Biden. I love ice cream. (laughs) You all think I'm kidding. I'm not. I eat more ice cream than the three other people you'd like to be with. Uh Which is probably why Biden and his people are focused on the most pressing issue to stimulate the economy. The federal government is looking into the McDonald's ice cream machines because they are mysteriously broken a lot. And that makes Joe a sad boy. Summer is basically over, and that means no more ice cream unless it's pumpkin spice and then it's free reign. The Biden administration is going into the fall as a fail thus far, and likely will just keep on leafing the things that should be the responsibility of the president. Before you leave, please take a moment to share this video. Until next time. Stay healthy, America. Hey team, most of you know our shows have been censored by Facebook and YouTube for years, which makes it very hard to keep up with the cost of production. But thanks to our Patriot Club members, we have not only been able to keep things going, but to add more programming. We're doing 18 new shows a week, 18. In fact, we've got big plans in motion for our viewers, especially our Patriot Club members. So please consider supporting our freedom-loving media by joining the Patriot Club this year. For a $99 tax-deductible donation, we will send you our 20-ounce stainless steel navy blue tumbler etched with the words American Patriot, standing atop the shoulders of a rather fit-looking George Washington. And for $129 gift, we'll also include a 15-ounce stainless steel mug as a token of our appreciation. All you have to do is visit patriotclub.us and become a Patriot Club member today. That's patriotclub.us. Thank you and God bless.